Hi, welcome to Math Test Prep, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we determine the length of a side in the coordinate plane. A student drew a triangle on a coordinate plane. The coordinates of each vertex of the triangle are shown. We have E with the ordered pair negative 2, negative 3, F, the ordered pair 1, 5, and G is the coordinates 4 and negative 3. What is the length in units of side EG of the triangle? So the first thing is we're going to plot all our points. So we have E, negative 2, negative 3. So we start at the origin. It's negative, so we're going to go left, negative 2, X, and then Y, and then down 3. So negative 2 left, down to negative 3, and that's our point E. F is going to be to the right 1 because it's positive 1, and up 5 because it's positive 5. And there's our point F and we're going to connect them because we're making a triangle. And our third coordinate is 4, negative 3. So we're going to go to the right 4 for x and down 3 for y, and we're going to form our triangle connecting all our vertices. So each one of these, EFG, is the vertex forming the angle of the triangle, and we got to go back and we're asked what is the length of side EG of the triangle. So we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our segment, or side, of the triangle EG is 6, and we can see that that's answer C. Now there is another way to do this if you didn't have graph paper or a coordinate plane. They're asked for side EG, which is formed by the order pair E and G. We can see that the Y coordinates are the same, but we can look at the E, the X coordinate of E, and the X coordinate of G, and we know that negative 2, if we look at it, think about it on a number line, negative 2 to positive 4. Notice, negative 2 to positive 4, and we know that that's going to be 2 to 0 plus another 4, 6. And there you have it. Our answer is 6.